Interesting. Surprising. Roller coaster. Tiring. Hectic. Intense. Chaotic. Overwhelming. Unexpected. Life changing. Not at all, and I don't think anyone who has been told that Freshers' Week is the best week of your life has been told the truth. Definitely not. I don't think I remember most of it, so probably not. No, wouldn't be the best week of my life. The busiest week of my life, for sure. It's definitely, definitely built up to be that narrative where it's like, you're gonna have the best time in your life, like, this is it, it's like, Freshers' Week. It wasn't, like, the freshest experience that everyone says it's gonna be. I find it quite tough when I spend most of the day sleeping and then went out in the evenings. It feels like you're in the Hunger Games. Like, you're trying to like find people to, who actually make sense for your friends and then everyone's got their like sort of slight bravado on. As well as the pressure of feeling like that should then be the best week of your life. It makes you just feel quite unwell. The idea that you're going to kind of immediately get to uni and find your people in even, the, you know, by the end of the first year, I think is a bit of a myth. It was definitely, definitely a slow burn in me uh, meeting my people and growing to love my people, like, that I, like, absolutely adore now. Fortunately, kind of instantly, um, I met two people uh, on the first day, two, three people on the first day who I'm still friends with now. So I was really lucky and I was with a flat of 13 people and I actually clicked with quite a lot of them on the first day. Just uh, in flats, halls, you just go around, uh, knock on people's doors, introduce yourself. Yeah, that's basically how we, how we got to know each other. And in the second year it was when I really kind of felt, yeah, okay, these are my, these are my people and just having a really good time now, actually hanging out with them and not being as stressed. I think actually it wasn't until like third year that I really like, submerge myself with all the people that I really like and like, that made me feel like the best about myself. At the beginning yes very much because I was scared that um, I wouldn't get to meet as many people as I should. My housemates always wanted to go out on a Monday but I really hated going out on a Monday because I had loads of stuff on Tuesdays so that was really tough having to turn people down. The first couple of weeks were kind of like if someone said, oh, we're going to go out, you would just say yes, because you think, you know, maybe there's never going to be this opportunity again to sort of go out with this new person that you've only just met about, you know, a week ago. If you don't have money to be going out every night, or even just the energy, you can feel a bit like you're missing out and everyone else has these, all these cool stories to tell that you're just not a part of. There was definitely, like, that pressure. It's a Friday, Saturday, you know, just going, like, drink around a table in a flat, and it got very very tedious and boring. So then when I stopped doing that, I did not have any FOMO, because I really was not missing out on much. I was usually the one, the one pressuring the others. I had never really experienced FOMO, because I was trying to get to everything. And in doing that and juggling my course and everything else as well, uh, I just sort of tanked at the end, and I was in, I'd say, the worst shape in my life. You're not actually missing out, but it does feel like it's the end of the world if you don't go to that one Lakota tonight and it's like, life will move on, it will be okay. It was very frustrating. It's always kind of like, you find someone you like the look of, you ask about it, and then it turns out someone else has got it. I, I knew who I wanted to live with, that was fine. It was more a case of like, accommodating everybody's needs. So it's really important to like, be okay with making compromises, that's a big one. It was quite difficult because me and my one friend wanted to make a house together, but we couldn't find anyone that wanted to be with our, in our house. I kind of ran out of time and panicked, so then I joined her house. Horrendous! <laughs> Honestly, just trying to find a group of people, although it may seem easy for some people, it's like it was so difficult. I remember there was one point where I thought I was going to be in like a, a single flat alone, just like trying to make it through and find people. Like every year that I've been here, it's always just suddenly one week comes and everyone's just in a panic. It's not as big a deal as you think it is, but when you're in first year, again, it's that Hunger Games quality to it, where it's like, oh, I've got to sort of house, I've got to find the people, this is my, my life is on the line for this decision. And then you realize by the time you've done it two or three times, it always works out, it's always fine. It's like this massive pressure for everyone to sort of like run and get houses and make these friends that you've only just met. And you do have more time than you think you do. There will be houses and you will find people. Yes, very much so. I think 
for people with existing mental health problems. First year is a time where they can often come back or get exacerbated and a lot of people will find for the first time that they are struggling with their mental health. Alcohol and drugs don't help, like, but they are obviously a massive part of the culture at this uni. Yeah. Um, it was things that I think I'd probably struggle with beforehand. I definitely did. It can just, it, it feels isolating because everyone's kind of performing, having a good time. Or at least a lot of people are performing, having the best time of their lives for quite a while. I think it can be quite isolating at first. Retrospectively, I definitely did. But at the time, I think I thought it was normal, which is kind of sad. But I think it is because of the whole narrative of like first year being the best year of your life, freshers week be being the best week of your life, then when that doesn't happen, it is like soul destroying. The first eight weeks, I'd say, were like the hardest, and then I, I struggled a lot. And I think the difficulty is because there's like this expectation when you get to uni that it's gonna be like the best time of your life, and then you get there, and obviously it's so up and down, and it was that expectation that I think made me feel like quite insular and like a bit insecure. My anxiety got a lot worse, and with anxiety, it means that your brain is constantly clouded. Which made it really difficult because when I was talking to new people, I constantly got lost in the conversation because my mind had just naturally wandered because I was so anxious. So I think I got more lonely than I thought I would, but I think I realised I was more confident than I thought I was in first year, so that was, that was quite a nice feeling. There was a lot of... A lot of ups and downs, um, lockdown towards sort of past New Year. When we came back in February, that was a little bit less fun. Everything's just like a bit grey for everybody. I feel like everyone was just trying to sort of like get through it as best they could. I did, as did a few people I knew during the time, especially with the pandemic, it was very difficult. And also feel like I wasn't getting to do what I had changed my whole life to do. At the time, it was incredibly hard to see what was the point in university. It's just about reaching out for help. There are ch loads of charities in this city that the UD do offer counselling, opening up the conversations with other people, not just being like, yeah, first year, best time of my life ever, otherwise you're all going to go nuts. Um, amazing. They just get better and better and better, to be honest. I'm really loving it. It's great because I do now have an established base of friends and I do know plenty of people, but there's still all these people yet to meet and everyone is still so friendly. I, I feel a lot more relaxed about what I'm doing because I, I know my way around more. I've definitely found my people and I definitely know now how to balance my like parent, home, house, family life with my uni life a lot more, which is, uh, was a big stressor. It's night and day, and I remember we were told that by people when we were in first year, and it's like, yeah, but what if it's not for me, and what if it only gets worse? And at least in my experience, everyone I speak to, it only gets better. The older you get and the more time you've been at uni, the better it gets. Honestly, I don't think I've ever been this happy, and it's, like, so different to first year. It's insane, and I honestly, I'm so thankful for first year me, even though I was completely like, I felt like a bit of a failure, but oh my gosh, I must have done something right, because right now, happy, 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 happy. Number one advice I'd give to my first year self is to be okay with your own company, so if you don't have any plans, that's okay. You don't always have to be with people 24-7. Sometimes people just think you just need to go out all the time or, you know, spend every living moment with all your friends and other people around you, but occasionally I think um, some time to yourself is uh, probably a good shout. Oh, give everything a chance, even if it's online, even if it's a society you're questioning, if a friend says, oh, try this, come along to this, Absolutely. It sounds quite cliche, but just say yes to things. If someone says, oh, do you want to come and try out this society with me, like give it a go or something, um, just like, yeah, because you, you might meet someone uh, who you end up being really good, really good friends with. Just try and give like everything a go, because there's so much to do at uni. Don't be so scared of everything, and try everything. You can unlearn from your mistakes. Stop carrying everything so heavily. Oh my god, just it's okay. It's okay for it to be bad. If you're not having a good week, if you didn't like them, if you didn't enjoy that prize, if you're not relating to people, that's fine because it will change. It's an evolving situation. Be, be honest with uh, the people back home how you're doing at uni because chances are they're probably in a similar situation. It's really important to like stay in contact with like your friends from home because I think when you're going through problems, 
in first year. You don't feel like you can talk to anyone because you don't know anyone. So I think it's really important to have a base at home. Slow down and don't panic because <laughs> it, it will be fine. If you try and rush into things, you'll just end up stressing yourself out. Be kind to yourself. Like, don't think of yourself as a failure. You haven't done anything wrong. It doesn't matter that it hasn't gone perfectly because every single person at university has a different experience and whatever happens, uh, it'll all work out for the best. And it did.